What's up guys, it's your boy Damon and welcome back to another New World video. Today, I want to talk to you guys about something that you may or may not have been sleeping on that you should probably be paying attention to because it's really, really important. So, in today's video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about furnishing. <clears throat> I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to want me to make a complete video about furnishing the profession itself, but... What I want to do is I want to wait until I get my furnishing all the way to 200 so I understand what all the pitfalls and, you know, ups and downs and all that stuff, um, you know, from a leveling perspective. Uh, we've been going hard on this uh, because, uh, you know, furnishing has turned out to be really, really cool. And I definitely think it's a very underestimated profession that will become more important with time as people start to realize the value. Now, with that being said... I want to talk to you guys about one of the things with furnishing that absolutely is a huge value to whatever it is you're doing in the world, and that, my friends, is going to be trophies. Now, I didn't give this uh, the trophies much credit uh, in the past. I knew that they existed. I knew that they give bonuses, but I didn't really have much experience with them, hence why I didn't talk about them too much. But now that we're in a position and we've been crafting the hell of these, I probably spent spent three hours last night just allotting these or, or you know getting these out to the guild to anybody that needed them, um, especially after once we hit 75 and they've been a primary source of leveling furnishing, which we'll talk about in the furnishing profession video in another time. <clears throat> However, you might be wondering, D, what is so great about these trophies? And, and in order to kind of explain this to you, I'm going to kind of walk over to my house and then we're going to kind of break down exactly what these things do. All right. So welcome to Casa de Damon. OK, <laughs> we're here and you guys see I got my little chest going. Don't worry. Listen, listen, listen. This is not the final product. All right. I'm just trying to, you know, work it out. I have my Walmart furniture here. Don't judge me. All right. I put this bed together myself. But we're working on it as I, you know, start to get, make more money, get myself a better job. We're going to upgrade the house. All right. But until then, what you guys are looking at on the wall up there are trophies. All right. So what happens is, is when I go to my, not my map, but when I go to my pay tax menu, uh, you guys can see that I have trophy buffs enabled. Now, what that means is when you decorate your house, you can get these trophies and you see that you can have up to five in your properties. It's so a couple of things I want to talk about here. <clears throat> what they do essentially is they give you bonuses, which I mentioned, but they give you significant bonuses. What I mean by that is these are just the minor trophies and these minor trophies w can become major trophies. Um, and from what I understand, shouts out to the people in the stream. They explained to me that you have to find these items in the world random, by the way, that you can use to upgrade these trophies to major trophies. But even the minor trophies from what we did when we tested on stream was that these minor trophies and we're just going to focus on the gathering professions like herbalism, you know, stone cutting, you know, all that stuff. But these give you an increase in yield from about 10 to 15 percent. So just by having a trophy in your house, you're going to get 10 to 15 percent more ore from every node that you mine, right? from every animal that you skin, from every plant that you harvest, from every tree that you chop down. So if you were to combine this with your proficiency potions from the uh, engineering bench, which is also where you're going to make your furniture and or trophies, this could be huge just in terms of overall guild and team value. Even if you're just playing with your wife or husband or your kids, like this is going to increase your yield overall by 10 to 15 percent just for the basic amount but that's not even the coolest part the coolest part about this is is that these are just the trophies that you get from leveling up your furnishing profession there are plenty more trophies out there in the world schematic wise that you can find and sell for a profit and or learn them and or maximize your furnishing profession in order to craft these now, the beautiful thing about these is these range from extra luck, so you have a higher chance of getting quality loot, to increased damage to certain types of enemies, 
to what we talked about before uh, with the increased gathering yield from whatever a specific profession that you've chosen. All in all, um, trophies are definitely something that if I would have known the effectiveness and or the depth of these items or how important these items could have been uh, for me and our guild early on as, as we still continue to learn things, I definitely would have did things a lot differently. Because at this point, if you have someone in your guild that's working on furnishing, you literally can buy yourself a rinky-dink house, right? Super fast. 2000 right? Because you get a discount. Have some trophies crafted because they're not that expensive. Very easy to manage. Throw them in the house early game. And then all of a sudden, you have some crazy yield. Because that extra 15% materials when you're level 10, 11, 12... Over the course of you know 12 to 40, 12 to 50, is pretty significant, and it kind of kills me inside when I think about like how many resources we actually missed out on, uh, just because we didn't really know about this enough to take it as seriously as we should have. So I wanted to take this time and sit down and talk with you guys about trophies, because I you know I'm just guessing here. But if I wasn't as aware of how important these things were, then maybe some people out there in the world aren't either. And so if we take this and we look at this and we add this to our collection of things that we know, uh, this could definitely make for a more efficient play experience. So anyway, guys, uh, that's all I wanted to cover today. Um, if you guys didn't know about this trophy system, or if you guys are on the fence about the player housing system, there's a lot that goes into it and it's really, really awesome. And we'll talk more about that when we get into the full furniture, you know, one to 200 video. Uh, when I talk about, you know, what to level, what not to level, traps, pitfalls, things of that nature. But today I wanted to talk specifically about trophies because they deserved a video on their own. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.